We're tackling Gerblins and shopping at Fantasy Costco. That's right, it's the Adventure Zone Bureau of Balance from Together Studios. <laughs> In this storytelling co-op adventure game based on the hit podcast, The Adventure Zone, players take on the role of heroic reclaimers, aiding the Bureau of Balance in recovering lost relics of the world. If the team can work together and survive the many challenges of their fantasy mission, they win the game and get a free round of drinks at the Chug and Squeeze. Setup begins with the selection of the team leader. Choose one player to take on this role. They'll handle the rules, mission setup, and encourage collaborative storytelling. Each player then takes a character sheet and matching action token. Character sheets include namespace, character statements, action token ability, and strength modifiers. Players then name their characters and complete the three character statements. Next, the team leader places the game board in the center of the play area. Take the mission cards and select one of each relic, villain, and location. Each mission card has an associated challenge deck of cards. The team leader then follows the instructions on the back of the mission card on how to set up each deck. Additionally, each deck contains a finale card, which must be placed face up on the bottom of each challenge deck. Next, shuffle the surprise deck and without revealing, randomly select three surprise cards. Add one each face down under the fourth card of each challenge deck. Shuffle the Fantasy Costco deck and set it nearby along with the Taz 20 die and the Bureau of Balance tokens. Place the health token on the health value according to the number of players in the game. 14 health for two players, 12 health for three players, and 10 health for four or five players. Each player should introduce their character in the game, beginning with the team leader. Each player then shares their name and defining character statements. The team leader then introduces the mission of the game by reading aloud the text on the back of each mission card, which also includes a question or two for the players to answer. Use the three visible challenge cards on the top of each challenge deck to describe the team's situation, considering how they relate to one another. Gameplay occurs in turns, beginning with the team leader and proceeding clockwise. Each turn is divided into the following steps. First, the active player engages a challenge by choosing one of three visible challenge cards. Once selected, they then determine their strength against the challenge by adding their strength from their character sheet, along with any bonuses from any modifiers or fantasy Costco items. They then place the challenge token on the numbered space of the strength track below the challenges. The active player now narratively describes how their character deals with the challenge. Some challenges have story bonuses. If a player can answer a story bonus question with their description, they gain a plus one bonus to their strength for the round. Next, the active player may ask one other player in the game for assistance. Some challenges allow them to ask up to two players for assistance, and others prevent any assistance. If another player agrees, they provide the active player with their action token, which adds an additional bonus to the strength score for the round. The catch is that the assisting player must add to the narration as well. Big ask for some, you know? Finally, the active player rolls the special Taz 20 die, the Adventure Zone die. If the number rolled added to the strength value equals or exceeds the difficulty of the challenge, the active player succeeds. The challenge card now becomes a loot card, which the active player gains. However, if the strength plus die roll total is less than the challenge rating, the active player fails and the team health tracker takes a hit equal to the damage value of the challenge. The Taz 20 die only includes number faces 1 through 6 and also has two special symbols, Critical Hit, which grants an automatic success on the challenge, and Epic Fail, which automatically fails the challenge. Quick note, after the active player has rolled, but before they take damage from a failure, other players in the game have one last option to assist with their action token, but at a reduced rate, as noted on their character sheet. This rule is still limited by the number of assists allowed in the challenge. 
Before ending their turn, the active player may discard loot cards worth a combined loot value of three or more to draw a Fantasy Costco card. These special items provided by Garfield the Deals Warlock provide characters with ongoing bonuses or discard abilities. A character may only ever have two Fantasy Costco cards at a time and must discard down if they gain more. However, when gaining such cards, they always have the option of gifting a card to another player to avoid discarding and to be a friend. This is the only way to trade cards in the game. After gaining their card or choosing not to purchase, play passes to the next player. Gameplay continues with players tackling challenges, asking for assistance, and gaining sweet loot. Once the finale card of a challenge deck is defeated, the active player who succeeded automatically gets a free draw of a Fantasy Costco card and turns the finale card to its opposite side on the board. This part of the mission is now considered complete. In order to win the game, the players must defeat the Relic Challenge deck and only one of the other two challenge decks, either location or villain. However, if the team health reaches zero before they can complete the challenges, the team loses the game and flees back to the bureau to nurse their wounds. Drinks are now full price at the chug and squeeze. Some other quick notes about the game. Surprises are a random encounter located after the fourth card of each challenge deck. These cards are placed face up on the game board when revealed and often provide ongoing bonuses and discard abilities. Players may only have one surprise active at a time, though. If a second is placed, players must choose which to keep and which to send on its way. Two-player games have slightly adjusted rules which vary the surprise card mechanics and limit the class options. See page 6 of the rulebook for those details. There's a handy guide for the team leader on page 7 of the rulebook, along with helpful hints to creating an atmospheric and exciting storytelling experience. And that's the basics of the Adventure Zone Bureau of Balance. I'm Becca Scott, this is Good Time Society, and you just watched a whole video. Pat yourself on the back, hit that like and subscribe button, and check out our other awesome videos in the sidebar. If you want to join the Good Time Society community, there's a link to our Discord in the description below. See you later.